The dirty Ohio River. Hi. Are you loving your chicken? Yeah. 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 No, you shouldn't have turned it off. I can't. Hello, guys. Can I put that right back right here? Thank you. Oh, wow. My camera's literally dying. I didn't even leave it on. <coughs> I was just back two hours. Well, guys, until I go to Best Buy, this will be the last time you see me. And unless I'm vlogging on my phone. So, <sighs> this sucks. So, we're currently parked. Johnny went to go validate parking before we head to brunch. We are either going to the Taste of Belgium or um, what's the other one? Sugar and Spice Diner. What's the other one that we were looking at? Toast and Berries. So we're gonna pick one of those three. We're definitely going to eat out again tomorrow for breakfast as well. Um, we want to go to brunch at least twice while we're out this way. Because these are places that we do not have. And, yeah. I think two of them are local. So, we're going to go eat there. I'll show y'all the food and everything and the vibes. And give y'all my rating of the food. So, yeah. Um... Bell's in the back room. Say hey. Say hi. No, it will say hey to the people. Say hey, people. She wanted to match me today and wear her cardigan, so she's wearing her cardigan too. And we're about to head out and get some food. So I'll let you guys know when we get there. I'm gonna do a little montage. I'm not sure. Like I said, I only have my phone right now until I get a um, battery charger for my camera. So, yeah. So, so later. Yeah, I think it's a fish bowl in the winter. 
<laughs> so guys, um, today is our last day. I believe I'm getting sick. This hotel's dirty as fuck. But the view is amazing. Um, so I realized the reason why <coughs> I've been coughing and shit so much. I checked the filter. It is disgusting. It's thick with dust. <coughs> and I sleep with the air one at night, so one of the biggest mistakes I could ever make. So disgusting. Um, I just finished cleaning up and packed all our stuff. We're gonna go get some breakfast, hopefully, and then be on our way back. So, yeah, besides the view, don't recommend. Um, the customer service is very mid, but you get an amazing view. That's pretty much the only thing. Especially, <clears throat> I guess you only get an amazing view if you're on the back side of the hotel. So, let me show you guys that view. Oh, wow. hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I've been coughing like crazy. And hopefully we get out of here soon too. So, yeah. Talk to y'all later. We back in action. We back in action, baby. Okay, so your girl, I'm catching up on Love is Blind. I've never watched this show. But my sister was like, you need to watch season four. It's toxic AF. I was like, okay, 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 I'll, I'll do that. But I did start season one and I think I got to episode five. And then, then she was like, no, no, you don't have to watch in order. Watch season four. So, season four, so far, I do not like um, Irina, whatever her name is, and Micah. Like, they are such mean girls. Like, how old are you bitches? Like, chill out. These are people's feelings, being involved. And everyone's just trying to find love. Like, what's the point of y'all even coming on the show? Like, at this point, are y'all just trying to get some type of fame? Like, I don't know. I think that's a little weird. Um, but what really got my attention is the mixed girl that they're dogging on here. Um. Or she's Latino, I don't, I really don't know. I think her name's Jessica. Is it even Jessica? I don't know. Y'all, I'm still trying to learn people's names and all that, but yeah. They was dog and hers. That's the one that um, likes two different people, Marshall and Josh. Um, uh, and spoiler alert, I think she's says yes to Marshall on the proposal or whatever. But I heard she did him dirty or something like that. <sighs> so I am I'm tired. I'm probably about to call it a night. Cause I do definitely want to make it to the gym tomorrow. I have laundry to catch up on. Um, I need to do some filming as well. Do some editing. Um, I'm probably just going to do like one catch up vlog before posting everything that's most recent. So just stay tuned for that guys. So sorry. But now that I have the free time, I have no excuses. Alright y'all, Bella is dropped off at school. Okay, Brent, tone it down. I am about
about to head to my mommy's job right now because she orders some shoes um, for a mother, Early's Mother Day's gift and she wants to see if they fit. And I have them in my trunk. I don't even know what they are. So I can't wait to see what shoes she got. Um, yeah. So I'm about to go do that now and then after your girl gonna go to the gym i was i do want to walk the trail but i do need to go to the gym because i'm paying for a membership and i've not been in two weeks i'm over here just giving away money okay so i need to go to the gym so that is my next stop um got some books it's so hard to be say no every time we go to the store and it's, it's a bad habit for sure but when she's bad i don't i don't mind saying no like no you ain't getting it girl she shouldn't have even got those books in the first place the way she was yelling i mean this morning like girl calm that down but yeah she's off to school I am about to go to my mommy's job. See if these shoes fit her. And yeah, I'll talk to you a little bit later. So I showed you guys my mom's shoes and all the stuff she got. Now the shoes are a tad too small for her, so she is. I want to do that return for her and she just went ahead and bought the um, other shoes in a bigger size because they come in half sizes the Harachi so I'm about to go to do that for her and see if she wants any lunch um, I haven't ate anything I don't eat until about 11 or noon um, so let's go do that Alright y'all, I am back home. I just started a little laundry and I'm about to clean my baby's room. Um, she has stuff everywhere. I'm trying to do as much spring cleaning as I can. Like her closet is like jam packed. And now I need to put out all her like summer clothes and things like that. And yeah. Um, we got her these books yesterday. She loves Pete the Cat. Have you moms or dads ever heard about this? Or anyone that's not a parent. I mean, kids will be kids. Um, I know she read, uh, watches the read-alongs on YouTube. Um, but she's so funny. That's where she gets her little um, saying. Focus. That's where she is her little saying, goodness, no. I'm like, girl, where did you hear that from? But yeah, uh, no wonder, because she has a book in here that doesn't go in here. What is this? 
Okay, yeah, I'm trying to put it back all in the packaging to get her books all in here. I don't know why she dirties up her room every time she wakes up in the mornings. Like, pick something and then put it away. But no, no, she ain't gonna do that. Yeah, um, but I am about to like upgrade her book section. Um, uh, oh. so I feel like she has a lot of the of it. And yeah, I just want to be a little bit more diverse. I'm so sad this book did not fit over here because it's not as tall. But this book is so beautiful. I love it. Um, but yeah, she has hella books and stuff. Like this is gonna be like her little activity cube. And um. Yeah, I'm debating if I want to do this right now or after I eat. I should probably eat something because I've ate anything. And my window's open because it's hot in here. And your girl, um, the place that I live at, um, you don't have that luxury of central air unless they turn it on, so... It's really annoying. I wish I would have known that before I moved in here, but I'm saving a lot of money now, so I can't can't complain too much. Can't complain too much. So yeah, I'm about to eat and then tackle her closet. I got some things I need to separate, like put out her summer clothes, clothes that she doesn't fit anymore. And then her cat and Jack stuff, put that in a separate bag so I can go ahead and take that stuff back and get my money's back. Even though it's not really money back, it's just I'm going to just get 4T stuff. So just like an exchange. Um, but I love how they have that one year warranty on their clothes. Like that helps out so much. It truly does. Um... Because Target, Target knows what they're doing. They're going to get that money right back. So it don't matter. So still watching Love is Blind. So, so far, I really like Bliss. She, she's my favorite. I'm only on episode three. Just her personality, her um, energy, her aura, everything. She's just such a beautiful person. And the fact that she went out of her way to be a bigger person bigger person towards Irina even though she really didn't deserve it because I'm sorry Irina was such a bitch to her like I, I didn't like that um so we'll see um what is this is his name Paul I don't know y'all I suck at remembering names let me see what's his name Zach, where did I get Paul from? Anyways, um, yeah. The fact that he's going to pick Irina, I don't know. I think that, I'm not sure. I just feel like Irina's gonna shit on Zach eventually. She just seems like, maybe not and her love language, but the way she even acts towards females, I don't know. It just seems like she's kind of a, just a bully. Especially when she doesn't get what she wants. I'm not really sure. That's just how I'm reading it from the show. We're watching as a third party. And the way that this show is edited, it can probably really come off that way anyway, so. I'm sure they cut up a lot from this um, season, so that's just how I'm seeing it. But Bliss, she seems like such a sweet person, and I feel so bad for her. That fucking sucks to get your heart broken, for sure. 
All right, y'all, I am back from the gym. We had a great workout. I just finished making Sabal's afternoon snack. About to fill up my water bottle. Here's my afternoon snack. And yeah, we're about to head out. Yeah, I need to refill up my water bottle real quick and then I'm about to leave. I'll talk to y'all when I'm probably headed to my mom's house once I get back home. So I'll talk to y'all later. Ella, say hi. Hi guys. You are too cute. She's a little sore. I I literally can't. Um, but but in London in the creation in the bed. What are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> I think she likes just looking at herself to be honest, but it's my chunk of boo. But yeah, we're back home. I just took a shower because before I picked her up, I went to the gym, so I was a little stinky stinky. But yeah, um, I don't even know what time. It Babe, what time is it? Mm-hmm. 5.41. Okay, so it's, about, it's almost 6 o'clock, so we're probably going to leave here in the next 20 minutes or so. Yeah, and figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner. And oh, babe, did did we decide that we're gonna go out for dinner? Okay, yeah, we're gonna go out for dinner, and then we're gonna head to my mommy's. Okay, y'all. Yes, baby. We got three on these chests. Babe, I should have got two. Chicken quesadilla. What do you get? give her one for now. My daughter is a very picky eater. Very picky. Here, Bella. Here. She did that motherfucking thing, bro. I'm gonna get cheese in the motherfucker. Is it good? Is that hot? It's hot. Good. Very cheesy. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's 
buried it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what these sauces are talking about. We got some pico, some guac, and sour cream. Yummy. You want any sauce? You want a uh, guac or sour cream? Which one? Green or white? I think white sour cream. Green is like, that might be a little spicy, babe. I don't know. Is it guac? Yeah. Oh, okay. It smells good. Seems like they season it very well. Yeah, they didn't speak a lick of English in there. That's how you know it's authentic. Really? I smell the love, man. It smells so good. You want to try now? Stupid. I love how there's a lot of cilantro in that burrito. I love cilantro. Yes, baby. Yeah, I told that cilantro. I was like, yeah, go ahead and add a dash. There's some water. I don't know what the hell wrong. I put it in wrong? I don't know how. Yeah, it comes out so fast. Are you snacking? 